The demographic cycle. The demographic cycle or the population cycle refers to the evolution over time of the population profile of a country, region or any other defined geographical area. To represent this we have something called the demographic transition model. The demographic transition model is a model used to represent the process of explaining the demographic cycle. In other words, the transformation of countries from high birth rates and high death rates to low birth rates and low death rates as part of the economic development of a country from a pre-industrial to an industrial economy. It is based on an interpretation begin in 1929 by the American demographer Warren Thompson of prior observed changes or transition in birth and death rates in industrial societies over the past 200 years. In short, the demographic transition model graphs the birth rate, death rate and the natural increase otherwise known as the growth rate. If the birth rate is greater than the death rate, the population will increase. If the death rate is greater than the birth rate, the population will naturally decrease. The greater the difference, the greater the rate of natural increase also known as the growth rate. In this image, uh, you see there are three uh, lines plotted in this graph. The one at the bottom which is red in color is the total population over a period of time which actually increases and there is the birth rate and the death rate. These graphs have been plotted for over 200 to 400 years and there are, these are the various stages of transition. The difference between the birth rate and the death rate is known as a natural increase or the growth rate. So, initially the natural increase is on the positive side, but as centuries pass, it also has gone into the negative. So, we call this as the natural decrease. The demographics transition model is set out in five stages and was based on the United Kingdom population charting since it was the first country to pass through the demographic transition. The stages are stage 1 which is a high stationary, stage 2 which is a early expanding stage, stage 3 which is a late expanding stage, stage 4 which is a low stationary stage and stage 5 which is the declining stage. Let's look at the demographic transition model chart. Here in this chart, we can see the plots on the x and y axis, the total population, the birth rate and the death rate and the various stages which I have explained in the previous slide. So initially, let's take stage 1 that is the high stationary stage. Here in this stage, the birth rates and death rates are high and cancel each other. More or less, they are very equal. Even though they are high, they are equal. So they cancel each other. Here, because of this birth rate and death rate increase, there is a high proportion of young children in this population. Since the birth rate and death rate are very close together, there is a moderate growth rate, that is a very small growth rate. And the population also tends to grow very slowly. India was in this phase till 1920. Now, no other country is in this stage except a few tribes in the Amazon area. The reasons for this high stationary stage is at that time, they had very little access to birth control. There was very high infant mortality rate. So parents wanted to have more children to compensate for loss of life. The children were used as productive workforce in agriculture then. 
high death rate due to famine disease war and lack of public health facilities large families due to religious and cultural beliefs let's go to the second stage which is the early expanding stage here you can see the death rate starts to decline but the birth rate is somewhat the same the birth rates may even increase due to improved health conditions and decreased period of breastfeeding because of this there is higher growth rate and there is population explosion you can see there is a great increase in growth rate or the natural increase and the population starts to explode many developing countries in south asia and africa like bangladesh and nigeria are in this stage the reasons for this stage is there is increase in healthcare sanitation and water supply which has led on to increase life expectancy rise in food production which has led on to food security and people are able to manage with their nutrition needs improve transportation and communication and also this has led on to decrease infant mortality rate so now parents are pretty much sure their children can live up to adulthood so they don't need to have to give birth to more children now let's go to stage 3 the late expanding stage here you see that death rate continues to fall rapidly and along with that we also see that the death birth along with that we also see that the birth rate also starts to fall rapidly it is not that static as in the early expanding stage as a result of falling of the birth rate and the death rate the natural increase decreases the growth rate decreases the population explosion starts to stabilize a bit Many developing countries like India, China, and Brazil are currently in this stage. The reasons for this stage is increased access to birth control measures, lower infant mortality rate, so less need to have large number of children, few child laborers needed due to mechanization in industries, social change from large families to nuclear families, and focus on gender equality, especially increase in the status and education of women now on to the next stage that is the fourth stage which is the low stationary stage here both the birth rate and the death rate are low and almost equal hence the natural increase is lowered and growth rate is very low the population size remains constant austria recorded a zero population growth between 1980 to 85 most industrialized nations like japan britain and sweden are in this phase the main reasons here are adoption of family planning practices safe motherhood and child survival practices improving status of women late marriages longer life expectancies good health care good health care and reliable food supply next the last stage which is known as the declining stage and many people question whether there is a declining stage or not here the birth rate falls below the death rate this is the birth rate and this is the death rate hence there is no natural increase in fact it is known as natural decrease a negative natural increase and there is a negative growth rate the population size starts falling due to negative growth rate or natural decrease some of the east european countries like germany and hungary are in this phase and are now focusing on immigrations to fill their jobs countries across the world are in different stages all countries eventually pass through all stages england was the first country to pass through the demographic transition this took approximately 200 years some other countries such as japan which started the process rather late than england completed their passage through the transition in less than half that time many countries such as china brazil and thailand have passed through the demographic transition model very quickly due to fast social and economic change Some countries particularly African countries appear to be stalled in the second stage due to stagnant development and the effect of age. The limitations of the demographic transition model are it doesn't include the influences of migration. It assumes that all countries will go through the same pattern does not explain population momentum. There is no time scale not applicable to less developed countries because of lack of quality data. ignorance of hiv infection etc it ignores social change compared to economic and industrial change 
The model was developed after studying the experiences of countries in the Western Europe and Northern America. Conditions might be different in different parts of the world. Reason for birth rates and death rates are very different in different countries. Hence, it cannot be adopted universally. But it is a very good model to know where your country stands now, socially, economically and industrially. This is all about demographic cycle and demographic transition model.